I guess you noticed the problem with inconsistency in voice generation in VO3. Well, we have the solution. And we're also super happy to incorporate two new features. One is implementation of Eleven Labs, and second is the video concatenator used to connect two videos together. We are starting out with generating an image with ideogram. It goes out to Flux Context to generate another shot, like a close-up version of this long shot. Both of the shots have text for the voiceover of the character. This part of the text is suitable for this image, and this part of the text is suitable for this image. They go into a concatenator with an instruction to keep the camera fixed, keep only the words that were mentioned before, and a negative prompt because VO tends to add lots of text on the image. So on negative prompt, we're asking for no text overlay, no subtitles, etc. In the next step, it gets concatenated, the actual uh, instructions to the model and the text separately for each of the shots. Then we generate it using VEO. It's a way to bypass a difficult problem with VEO now, inconsistent voice. Just generate your video with sound, then change the voice using Eleven Labs. So you can hear that the voice is uh, changed between these two versions. In the next step, we use Video Utilities node to separate the audio from the video. And then we use Voice Changer by Eleven Labs to switch the voice to the one that we chose. Both of these have the same voice, that's how we get voice consistency. In the next step, we merge the audio back onto the video, and then we use another new feature of Weavy, which is the video concatenator. It's just like text concatenator. It combines two inputs, one after the other, of videos. It's a way to bypass a difficult problem with VEO now. Inconsistent voice. It's really simple. Just generate your video with sound, then change the voice using Eleven Labs, and stitch the voice back on the model. Back on the model? It was supposed to be back on the video, but you understand the idea. Also be sharing this workflow as an example with the video. So feel free to ask questions in the comments. Hit us up at Discord with your questions. If you want to see some more videos of specific uh, tutorials on specific subjects, just write it in the comments and we'll try to deliver as fast as possible.